Libra, hi, welcome to your read. Uh, we are going to be doing tarot for you today. We're going to be doing past, present, future. Um, so yeah, these are general readings. So take what resonates and leave the rest for everybody else. Um, I will be doing a past, present, future spread, by the way. So we're going to be looking at past things. We're going to be looking at the energy now. And then the last part's not going to resonate with you because it's the future. You're not going to know if that's accurate or not. And you can change those energies, right? Um, by the way, Libra, if you'd like a personal read, my email's in the description. Feel free to send me an email. So, yeah. Libra. Good, Libra. Let's start your read. Death, the Fool, Five of Swords, Eight of Swords, the Magician, King of Chalices, King of Wands, Three of Wands, Nine of Swords. Keep pulling kings out for every sign, like a lot of kings. Like, I haven't seen, well, I saw like one Queen of Wands, and I think it was Scorpio's read. You may be dealing with a Scorpio, by the way. There's a death card up there. Uh, Page of Pentacles. I can't... What sign got this? Um, oh, this was Saggy. Maybe you're dealing with a Saggy, and you do have a King of Wands here. There is a Saggy, maybe, or Scorpio. I don't know why I feel called out to call out the signs. I normally don't do that right at the beginning of the read, but that might be important to you. There's also an Aries here. Um... Anyways, Libra, so let's see here. You have this death card and the fool and the five of swords here. So to me, that's saying that in your past, there was a big change for you where you decided to take a risk on somebody. You took a risk on somebody because you changed internally. Um, before you took this risk, it may have been scary, but you said, you know, I'm going to give it a shot. Um, maybe you came from something before that I'm not seeing here in the past, but when I clarify, maybe I'll see it. Um, maybe you've come from a space of hurt and you had to change again and do something risky when it came to love. But I feel that created conflicts, created conflicts for you specifically. Um, in the current energies, you're currently in your head about something here with this Eight of Swords. At the same time, I feel like you're slowly making your way out of that, though. That's not really that bad. Because you have this Magician card in the middle of the read saying that you're kind of like trying to get your resources, even though you already have everything you need. You're trying to figure out how to alchemize that in your life or manifest, whatever word you like to use. Um, and you have this King of Chalices. I feel like you're ready to express emotions again, despite conflicts. Although, the King of Chalices gives an illusion. I call him King of the Veiled Seas for a reason. And um, maybe it's that you're coming from that space where you had to take a leap of faith and you're trying to alchemize something in your life. So that if you get hurt again this time, that it's okay that you can keep moving forward with your emotions. Very good. You're the first sign that's pulled positive things, positive self-reinforcement in the current energy. So that's good because that means we're going to have a lot less work to do in the future energies here. Which I'm seeing that because we have the King of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. This is you... In the future, this part's not going to resonate, right? Like I said, but this is you into some sort of kingly energy and stepping into something passionate and realizing that whether it hurts you or not here, um, you've already woken yourself up from some sort of nightmare anyways. So, 
Let's see here with the clarifiers what the past is trying to say here. So in the past, something definitely ended. Something that looked scary at first and ended up being a big, big mess here for you. Let's see what that death card is trying to say. Um, Page of Swords. Yeah. You took a risk and it was scary. Now I feel like the person you took a risk on would have been very attractive to you. And you were afraid thinking this person's not meant for me and that exactly happened that way. It kind of manifested into that. I see it now with the magician there. Like, it's not that you manifested the end, that you can't manifest an ending. You can't manifest bad things. Don't think that. But what you can do is you can spill energies into like places where it's not needed here. With the full uh, ten of chalices, so you took a, a leap of faith into something that looked emotionally stable. And then why did that create conflicts with judgment, right? Somebody walked out the door. Somebody walked out the door. This is just how I see that judgment. The Eight of Swords here in the current energies is Two of Pentacles. So like I said, you're doing the work to balance for yourself now. Great. You don't need my help. You're doing it all on your own. The Magician is with the Tower, right? So the Magician is... Um, this Tower is actually good over the Magician because it's you in that tower like the magician trying to like alchemize something in your life for the rest of your life so that this tower doesn't fall anymore like it did in the past here um the king of chalices the wheel of fortune right and every good magician needs a tower right you just you just need to be in that tower <laughs> kind of harry potterish isn't it and then you have this phoenix here that's why i'm thinking harry potter um, but yeah, some of you may like Harry Potter. This King of Chalices, though, um, could be why you're here at this read. You're here about a specific person, maybe, and I feel like it could be because of this King of Chalice. But I feel like maybe it's because now, instead of that past where you were afraid and then it ended up in a mess, I think you're in this current energy. You're not afraid because you've kind of, like, established... You're the creator of your own kingdom, so if people fall out, pff, bye, right? Because like, now you're going with the flow here, and you're not presenting the illusion that you're nervous anymore. You're not presenting the illusion that you're scared of relationships. So what does that do? That presents to you relationships. Let's see here the king of wands. What's this king of wands here for? Seven of Chalices, you're going to have some options here in the future. You have a lot of love opening up to you in the future, by the way. You're going to have so many options here. And then the Three of Wands, Page of Chalices, um, you will find one option, and it's going to show up in the form of maybe a water sign, or maybe it'll just show up in somebody that's actually very expressive with their emotions, kind of like the way you were in the past. And I feel like you're going to support somebody here with this nine of swords and wake up from the nightmare yeah emperor yeah libra it's gonna be you supporting somebody not like supporting them financially but supporting the emotions supporting the relationship it's gonna be you rising up to this emperor and saying you know it's gonna be you giving somebody comfort Libra, it's going to be you giving somebody comfort from the space where you were hurt in the past. You might be presented an option of somebody in the future here that's come from the same place that you've come from. They have the same story, the same exact outcome from the past, and it's going to be presenting to you in the form of somebody that feels like they may not be good enough for you. Now, because you've done the work here, I feel like instead of closing the door on somebody, like somebody closed the door on you, you're going to be opening that door for somebody and saying, no, it's okay. 
You're very sweet, Libra. I always say Libra is the sweetest, right? You guys are you guys are very sweet. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Eight of Wands, communication. This you this doesn't resonate. None of this resonates. You're gonna have a very good communicator, because somebody's gonna take a risk on you. The same way you took a risk on somebody in the past. Now, what you do in the future energies is up to you, right? If you take them in or not, or you just like no. It could be that this person is not on the same vibrational length as you, right? Now, um, I'm not pulling too much divine masculine stuff here, but I've been doing that for every sign. How I see this, if you're divine masculine or you're male on the 3D, like let's get out of the 3D or the, the dream world of the spirituality. Let's go back into the 3D, let's rewind. If you're male watching this video, or if you relate to the masculine, okay. Um, the way I see this is that um, you've come from a space where you were trying to learn how to take care of a relationship. You were trying to learn how to like keep a relationship together. I'm sorry, let me adjust the light. It's getting kind of bright. Uh, cause the sun's going down, so it's getting brighter in here. Um, but yeah, if you're divine masculine, you come from a space where you were trying to learn how to take care of a relationship, and that may have ended up in some sort of conflicts here. With this two of pentacles though, I think you're, right now, you're, you know, could be balancing a job, could be trying to get your stuff together here, and you have a very favorable outcome for finding a relationship where you might be taking care of somebody in the future. Um, possibly somebody that's coming from the same beginner level as you, Libra. Um, that's specifically for divine masculine male that are watching the tarot read, um, because I know males, we don't necessarily always connect to that spiritual side, so I'm trying to make this as simple as possible if you're male watching this. You're gonna end up supporting somebody. Now you say, no, that can't be me. No, 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 no. Um, it's the future energy. You don't see it yet. Um, but you will be a supporter. You will be taking care of somebody emotionally. Uh, maybe the financial too, because you have the emperor here at the end. Okay? So. Anyways, Libra, um, you get one of the shortest reads so far, but that's because I feel like you're already doing the work now and you're in the process of this coming to pass. And this future stuff, it's, it's gonna happen. It's just that you don't see it yet. And this is tarot. I'm not throwing your astrology with this. When is it gonna happen? Could be five years from now. I don't know, but this is gonna happen for you, Libra. And you're gonna match up here with something very nice for your future. So anyways, Libra, that's all I got for you. And I will catch you guys again next week. Bye.